There's a saying, or perhaps more accurately, it's an idiom in case there are any English teachers listening in. I often refer to it when it comes to working smarter, whether it's related to technology or anything else. It suggests that we don't reinvent the wheel. I'm not sure exactly when it came into being or where, but it generally refers to the facts that the wheel was basically perfect when it was first invented, and therefore needs no further refinement, and that it's so perfect that we shouldn't waste our time trying to recreate it from scratch. It already exists and is good the way that it is. Another way to look at it might be through another more recent saying about the environment. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Same concept. Instead of taking the time, effort, and resources to create a bunch of new stuff, we should reuse or repurpose what we already have. Often, when we're tasked to create a presentation, we are not working with information that is completely new and unique. Even if it has never been part of a presentation before, it probably exists somewhere else, in one form or another. If it does exist in other presentations, we want to reuse those slides rather than taking time to recreate them from scratch. In addition, by reusing content, we ensure that it remains consistent, which can be an important attribute as well. Now we know copy and paste is one of the computer's oldest universal functions, something that we use in pretty much the same way regardless of the operating system or the application. We've been able to open existing files, copy content, and paste it into another file for decades. PowerPoint is no exception. Since the very early days of PowerPoint, we've been able to reuse content in this way by opening an old presentation, physically copying the slides that we want, opening another presentation, and pasting them in. And you know what? We still can. Since that is something that we all probably know how to do, we want to invest our time here working with PowerPoint-specific features. There's a newer method that simplifies the amount of navigation, clicking, opening, and closing of things. It's the reuse slide feature. Now what we want to do is take our Niagara Falls presentation and add some slides that were already created as part of a PowerPoint photo album. We want to add that photo album to this presentation. There's even a slide already for the start of that section. Let's go ahead and find that. The easiest way to do it is to press the end key, E-N-D, on the keyboard. This moves us down to slide number nine. If we then simply press the left arrow or the up arrow or the page up key, it will move us back to slide eight, which is titled The Images. It's after this slide that we want to insert the slides from the photo album. If we slow down and think about it for just a minute, what we're trying to do is add slides to our current presentation. Therefore, it makes perfect sense that if we're not sure where to find this feature, we might be able to figure it out. We want to add new slides to our presentation. So how about if we go to the Home tab, to the Slides group, and display the drop-down for the new slide option. If we go all the way down to the very bottom, we will see the option for Reuse Slides. And this is probably why it's an option that's very often overlooked. People never look beyond those layouts at the top. We'll go ahead and give the Reuse Slides option a click or a tap. And this is going to display a pane on the right-hand side of the screen. The first thing we need to do is identify the source of our slides. It's at the very top of the pane where it says Insert Slides From. If we have used this before, we can use the drop down and select a recently used file. We've never used it before, so what we need to do is click or tap the Browse option. There we're given two options, to browse a slide library or to browse a file. Slide libraries are a feature of SharePoint, and SharePoint is beyond the scope of this topic, but I just wanted to mention it. A slide library holds individual slides, not presentations, and holds them in one central location, commonly today known as the cloud or on your network, so that they can be reused throughout a project team or an organization. It's perfect for those things that we need to reuse over and over, like a slide with our mission statement or an org chart, for example. There are a lot of advantages, and it's really cool. In my opinion, it's one of the most underutilized features in SharePoint and it can really help teams optimize their work when it comes to working with PowerPoint. But right now, instead of choosing Browse Slide Library, we're going to choose Browse File. This opens our typical window, and we're gonna go ahead and go to the Working Files folder and into the Chapter 3 folder. Here we find the one called Niagara Falls Photo Album, and we'll either double click or we'll click it and then tap Open on the bottom right. The slides from the selected presentation appear as thumbnails in the pane. We can pause over them to get some basic information, like the name of the file and the slide number. We can click on them to insert them into our current presentation. We can also right-click and choose to insert all of the slides at one time. We'll go ahead and use that option. 
What we notice if we look carefully is that when the slides were inserted, they went from the black background of the original photo album to the theme that's been applied to our current Niagara Falls presentation. There's not really a right or wrong way to do this, but in this case, we did not necessarily want that theme applied. So we have a couple of options. We're going to go ahead and move to the upper left side of the screen and click or tap once on the undo button. That's going to take all of them but that first slide out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert all of those slides again, but before we do so, on the bottom of the reuse slides pane, we're going to check the box that says keep the source formatting. This way, all of these slides will retain their original formatting instead of taking on the format of the destination presentation. Now we'll go ahead and right click, insert all slides, and now we can see that they did indeed retain their original formatting, which makes it much nicer. It's important to know that once we add slides to our new presentation, we can edit them and work with them the same way we do any other slide. They are copied into our presentation, not linked, so they're independent of the original slides. We could continue to add slides from other presentations, but when we're finished, we can close the Reuse Slides pane by clicking the X just to the right of where it says Reuse Slides, closing the pane, and getting back some of our screen space. The ability to reuse slides should make us very happy because it takes away a lot of the work of recreating things or doing a lot of opening, copying, and pasting. Basically, we used a wheel without having to make a new one of our own from scratch. We recycled slides. We now have the ability to use good content that somebody else already invested the time creating, but reuse it in our own presentation.